so over here we are going to study the principle of spectroscopy what exactly it is i will just introduce you to the concept of principle of spectroscopy <music> So spectroscopy is the study of interaction between matter and electromagnetic waves. So there are many kinds of electromagnetic waves in our surrounding. For example, UV rays, ultraviolet rays, there are so many kinds of infrareds and all of these waves are nothing but electromagnetic in nature. When these electromagnetic waves, which are present in our surroundings, they get interacted with different matter which is present in our surroundings that leads to transition or that leads to change. This change is actually known as spectroscopy. So whenever there is interaction between matter and electromagnetic radiation, that particular phenomena is known as spectroscopy. Now when I am talking about matter, matter consists of atoms. Atoms are nothing but a proton and a neutron which is present in a nucleus and electrons revolving in orbits outside the nucleus. So whenever I am talking about matter, I am talking about atomic and subatomic particles. Electron is one of the subatomic particles. Now there are two kinds of spectroscopies. First, when an electron is interacting with the electromagnetic waves, that means that those electromagnetic waves are coming and interacting with the subatomic particle electron. The second kind of spectroscopy is when the entire atom, that means the entire nucleus, which consists of protons, neutrons, at times positrons, antiprotons, and many other particles, along with electrons, the entire atom is getting affected by the electromagnetic radiation. So two types, electron spectroscopy and atomic spectroscopy. Historically, spectroscopy originated through the study of visible light dispersed according to its wavelength by prism. So the term spectroscopy was originally given to us by Sir Isaac Newton. He is the same scientist who gave us the entire concept of gravitation. So he said that whenever a light is dispersed, now what do we mean by dispersed? It means deflected into a spectrum. What is a spectrum? It is a range of lights. For example, let's take a rainbow. So what exactly is a rainbow? Rainbow is nothing but meant sunlight. What is sunlight? Sunlight is straight rays of light. When they are passed through clouds, the light gets dispersed. That means the light gets scattered in such a way that it gives us different colors. And these different colors is what we call as rainbow. So historically spectroscopy originated through the study of visible light dispersed according to its wavelength. Now wavelength is a very important term over here because wavelengths give us different colors. That means in the rainbow if I have violet, if I have indigo, if I have blue, green, I have different different colors. Those different different colors come because those particular light have different wavelengths at that point of time. Of course, rainbows are a naturally occurring phenomena. They occur when sunlight passes through clouds. But we can actually have artificial rainbows when the light is passed through prism. What is a prism? Prism is nothing but a cube or a pyramidal structure which is made up of glass walls. That means all the sides are made up of glass. Light enters through one side of the glass wall and goes away from other side of the glass wall. When it goes away from other side of the glass wall, it gets dispersed into different colors like a mini rainbow. And that entire phenomena was termed as spectroscopy by Isaac Newton. Moving further, first of course Sir Isaac Newton gave us that concept. Later, the concept was expanded greatly to include any interaction with radiative energy as a function of its wavelength or frequency. Now, what do we mean by that? That Sir Isaac Newton first gave us a small concept that whenever light is passing through a prism, it is getting dispersed. And if the light is getting dispersed, it is showing various colors. 
if it is showing various colors it is because of different wavelengths and that entire concept is known as spectroscopy but today of course we include that in spectroscopy but spectroscopy is not only that the entire concept is expanded it includes any interaction with radiative energy what do we mean by radiative energy radiative energy is nothing but electromagnetic waves as a function of its wavelength or frequency now this radiative energy has two characteristics which are wavelength and frequency predominantly in the electromagnetic spectrum although matter waves and acoustic waves can also be considered now what do we mean by that uh, till now we only were studying about electromagnetic waves but over here we can also study matter waves why because when i give you the example of rainbow we know that sunlight is not only electromagnetic it also contains particles like photons photons are nothing but small particles that means it is also matter so apart from electromagnetic waves matter waves can also be considered in it and acoustic waves can also be considered in it now what are acoustic waves those are different kind of waves that means not only light waves but also sound waves at times heat waves any kind of energy waves as well as matter waves can also be considered in the forms of radiative energy recently with tremendous difficulty even gravitational waves have been associated with spectral signature as i told you let's not just focus on electromagnetic waves nowadays scientists are finding that all kinds of waves light waves sound waves heat waves and even now gravitational wave is also showing some kind of spectral signature in context of laser interferometer gravitational wave laboratory which is known as LIGO LIGO was the laboratory with this laser interferometry test and because of the, this particular test they came to a conclusion that yes even gravitational waves have the capability to show spectroscopy spectroscopic data are often represented by emission spectrum a plot of response of interest as a function of wavelength and frequency that means this spectroscopic data the overall data which is collected after the spectroscopy has happened these are often represented by emission spectrum for example when isaac newton passed light through the prism he showed the emission spectrum he showed how the entire emission has happened how the deflection has happened the dispersion of light has happened so that particular thing is known as emission spectrum a plot of the response of interest that means that apart from emission there can also be the entire story around it as a function of wavelength or frequency that means you cannot only show emission but you can also try showing it in the form of wavelength or frequency this entire concept is known as principle of spectroscopy thank you